Hey y'all, we got cut off. We got cut off, but we're back on. I knew that was gonna happen. So if it cuts off again, I'm just gonna make a video about it. It's not gonna be live real time, but the information shall be out. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. If you don't know what I was talking about before, you gotta watch the first video. So what I was saying is um your emotions and everything will definitely start to change. Crying at a drop of a dime. Or experience just being very in the in, in the moment of just being loved. So, uh, one thing that you can also do is what I and what I start doing is when I'm just feeling all of this love and feeling all this light, I spread it to everybody. I spread out the love and I spread out the healing to everybody. Um, so so they can also receive it. <laughs> so take advantage. Excuse me. Take advantage of this uh, of this energy and um and um embrace the emotional changes just ride the wave don't don't give in um to it know that everything is being released and purged um let's see so changing weight i always experience well not really changing weight but changing appetite for me but what you will experience is that you may go from um weighing a lot and then you may go from why is this thing not trying to stay in here but okay cool you may go from you know gaining weight and then losing weight gaining weight then losing weight you may go from periods of time where you don't feel like eating anything to times where you like okay today i need to eat some more from just wanting to only eat fruit or maybe needing something a little bit more heavy, a little bit more like protein or grains. Just go with the flow. Do not, do not, do not judge yourself from wanting something. That's why I say you got to drop the labels. It's bigger than being a vegan. It's bigger than being a vegetarian. Don't get me wrong. You you need to eat the right things and you need to maintain a high vibration for this vehicle. But don't get too wrapped up into it and let it become a religion. Because you have to learn to listen to your body. Somebody may say, peanuts ain't good, peanut butter ain't good for us, it's a hybrid. Well, maybe that peanut butter might not even do nothing to your body. You might not even get that effect. Maybe it affects that person. So listen to your body before you listen to somebody else trying to tell you what you can and what you cannot eat. Know thy body, and you shall know what you should, you can eat. So, um, so don't deny what your body wants. If it wants something weird, you want to eat peanut butter out the jar. Eat peanut butter out the jar. Obviously, your body needs some type of protein or something. Go with the flow of your body, what your body wants, and don't let nobody else tell you what you can't have for your body. I can't tell you what you. I don't know what you need for your body. You don't know what I need for my body, but I know what I need for mine. So. You can experience change in appetite and change in weight. So, um, and so don't get stuck into the mind frame of we got to eat three times a day. I ain't eat all day. If you ain't eat all day, you just didn't eat all day. You must not be hungry. If you ain't hungry and you ain't eat all day, okay, the world's not over with. That means your body needs to purge and detox at that moment, so. Go with the flow on it, okay? Um. Also, try not to be eating, like, if you try not to eat, like, a good three hours, three, four hours before you go to sleep to give that, that, that food time to digest. Because what happens is when we go to sleep on the full belly, our, our body should be, our digestive tract should be getting ready to break down everything and kind of, like, purify everything. And getting everything cleaned up, cleaned up, so when we go to sleep, we'll have energy to travel out in the astral realm. We don't got the energy to travel out to the astral realm because our body is taking all the energy to break up the food. So try not to eat three or four hours before going to bed. Try not to eat about an hour. Try not to use uh, drink any water about an hour or two before bed, so you don't have to worry about waking up and having to pee. You know, you kind of just want to go with the flow of it. You know, uh, so everybody wants to pick this up. Um, sorry. And another good thing is to make sure that you're moving this energy, moving this body, staying in the flow of things, doing yoga, doing some chai, tai chi, qigong, um, 
walking, stretching, jumping, dancing, roping, biking, healing, I don't know, whatever type of aim, <laughs> just do it. Keep your body in motion. Keep your body moving. Um, don't let that energy get stagnant. Chant. Oh my gosh, chant. Chanting. Chants. I do chants um, every Tuesday and Thursday with me, with my sisters. So any sisters interested, just let me know. Um, so, oh yeah, one more thing to add to the food. Every, you are the magician. You're the magician. Master all the elements. Be the magician. In order to be the magician, you have to know how the elements work, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So, but what we're going to talk about is blessing your food. Anytime you get something to drink, say an affirmation behind it. Put a spell on it. As I'm drinking this water, I shall activate all of my dormant DNA. Bam, abacadabra. That DNA is activated. You know what I'm saying? As you eat in a salad, may this salad and the nutrients in this salad alkaline my blood because blah, 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 and so shall it be. Bow, abracadabra. You're the magician. You are the magician. Abracadabra. This is my new wand. I do a lot of spelling with it. I got it here with me. But, um, so let me see. So I already talked about that chain, okay? Oh, yeah, so another thing to add with the food is food intolerance. You can experience food intolerance. You may have ate something your whole life that you can't eat now. Maybe there was a time where you couldn't eat something when you was younger or something. But now you can. Go with the flow. Flow with it. If your body, if your stomach cramping up when you eat something, guess what? You can't eat it no more. And if you really want more confirmation, get a pendulum. Get a pendulum and ask that pendulum. Pendulum, sister, ancestor, spirit, whoever you want to call upon because that pendulum is a medium. It's a tool. So call upon whoever you want to call upon and ask them, can I still eat this? Can I stop? Can I, do I need to eat this? Do I not need to eat that? Get familiar with your body. Um, so one thing that you also might start to realize is that your hearing, your vision, um, uh, your, your, your smell, your sense of touch, everything is so much intense. You can smell stuff that people can't even smell. You'd be like, you smell that? They'd be like, ah, I'll be like, you sure you ain't smell that? So getting more in tune with your smell, smelling, using your animal instincts and really be able to smell. And also not even just smelling physically, smelling metaphysically and being able to sense somebody when they come. Because you can smell people's energy. You can, it's, you can smell it, you can feel it, you can sense it, you can even taste it. So just mastering the senses in your body too. That goes along with mastering the four elements. So um, so becoming more uh, aware of your senses. Another thing is also seeing glimmers, seeing glitter, seeing shadows, seeing orbs. Um, What's happening is that the three D realm and the veil, the veil is, is is very thin, and you're able to see into other dimensions, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and so on. And so you can get these glimmers, and you can and you can get these um shimmers from the corner of your eye. They all rampant in my house. Everything runs wild in there. Um, so you'll see the shimmers. You'll hear stuff. You'll hear humming. You'll hear buzzing. Um, you even could be in your house and hear nature even still like outside your house even through the teeth like through your you know you could be watching a video or you and you also can like be here in your refrigerator and stuff but you still can hear nature throughout that so just getting really in tune with your senses um so you also might uh see that when you close your eyes instead of it being darkness you see like a reddish like you see red i don't think i really experienced that one um, hold on, you guys. One thing is to not be scared of what you see. Know that nothing there is there to hurt you. I say it as in know that you're protected. Don't bring any fear into it. Still protect yourself, but know that with your protection, you're going to be good. So, um. Let me see. Let me just keep reading. Yeah, so you, you know, you can hear the buzzing. You may hear buzzing, buzzing in your ear, like this beeping sound or buzzing in your ear. 
That's just your mind tuning into a new frequency. Because don't forget, we got different type of waves. We got x-rays, gamma waves, microwaves, you know, um, uh, x-rays. We got different type of rays that the human, quote unquote, cannot pick up on. Different animals can hear and see and sense different things because they're tapping and using your mind to do that. Don't don't think that we can't do these things. Don't be so ignorant to think that we're just here to just hear and see and smell what's in front of us. You got to start tapping inside of that 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 X band power is like what I like to call it. You can't keep living the life doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Hustling and bustling around. So anyway, um. I was in the now moment. I forgot what I was talking about. So, yeah, so the buzzing. So you're picking up on other frequencies. Tune into those frequencies. And also note, how are you feeling when you're hearing the buzzing in your ear? How are, uh, you know, wh- what are you around? What are, what were you just thinking? Who's around you? Take note of all of that. Be the scientist in your life because there's there's things trying to tell you stuff. So you can get off that hamster wheel. They're trying to tell you, but you're not picking up on the signs. Because you're probably too distracted by bullshit that doesn't even matter no more. So, um, I'm not going to go all into it. If you want to know more, look at the link that I sent you, that I posted up. And for all my YouTube family, um, because this is going on YouTube, you're probably like, oh, I'm not on your Facebook. Send me a request. Maybe I shall grant you permission to be in my space. Okay, so hold on. Let me take charge out because the phone's starting to chip up again. And so you also might um experience power surges. So you, you might feel like uh you might feel like a tingling, like a 